about is some uh, fresh steak and venison. These are a couple pieces of back strap. They've been cleaned, uh, ready to go. And we're gonna start off with a little uh, Ozark shaky, shaky seasoning. Actually quite liberal with it. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. All righty. Then we are gonna roll them in some flour. What this will do is help brown it and keep that seasoning from over browning because it's got garlic and other stuff like that in there. All right, we're gonna turn on our stove and our cast iron skillet. We've got 50-50 butter and olive oil. Our 50-50 butter and olive oil going into medium heat. Notice there's not a real big sizzle. We're going to bring that sizzle up to it. You don't want your skillet overly hot. We will, it will burn. We've got our oven preheating to 350. What have we got over here? In this skillet, we've got a little bit of butter going. We're going to make a succotash of corn, asparagus, uh, carrots, and some uh, special uh, lima beans that are actually purple. And there's a few white ones in there. Purple, pinks, and whites. All right, see this sizzle right here? That's just right. When you get to that point, turn your stove down a little bit. All right, we're doing a light brown on that, see there? Don't want a dark brown on these. A dark brown on venison will give it that heavy flavor that, that people fuss about. All right, now we've browned off all four sides. We're gonna transfer these over to an oven safe skillet. We're going to pop them in this oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. Skillet, we're going with our uh, portobello mushrooms. We're going to brown them off. Over here, we're going to start with our asparagus. Turn it that way so I can flip it. And a handful of butter beans. Mushrooms are about halfway cooked. We're going to put in about, oh, half a cup of Cabernet Sauvignon. And you pick this up at Walmart, better than bullion. We're going to put about a heavy teaspoon in there. And we'll let that cook down. All right, the veggies, we season with a little salt, seasoned salt. Just start giving them a toss. What's on top on the bottom? All right, we've got the wine cooked out. We're pretty much down to uh, butter and olive oil. And we are going to add an old quarter cup of flour. We are making a sauce. Now, over here, we're going to add our sweet corn. of water. Now, if you don't have the better than bullion, you can put in uh, beef stock at this point and if you omit the, the uh, better than bullion. Over here, we'll give this a tongue. We're going to add our carrot ribbons. Oh, look here. Just in time. Take your venison out of the oven, out of hot, and let it rest at least five minutes. See our asparagus is starting to uh, be kind of floppy. We are done. Just turn your vegetables off, just set them aside. All right, we've let our venison rest. It's time to cut it up into medallions. Let's see how we're doing. Still a little pink in the middle. If you cook it well done, it is gonna be gamey. Some people like it a little less. 
with Mrs. Twine. She does not like to hear him scream. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> caramelized some onions earlier. Caramelized onions going right over the top. Now we're going to uh, dress it with some uh, mushroom sauce. mess on the plate but you know what we're not that fancy take a little succotash set that on the side and follow me we're gonna take that succotash and dress it with just a few drops of balsamic vinegar if you don't have that you can squeeze some lemon on there Enjoy. Okay, Twine, tell me what you think. Well, if the plate is any indication of uh, if she likes it or not, I'm in pretty good shape. What do you think? She's not even talking. That's a good sign. <laughs>